But my uncle Roy was a big inspiration to me. He used to help me. He used to ring me at boarding school every Thursday evening. And it went, as I say, from him into my club villa. And then the mantle was taken over by a goalkeeper that we'd just signed from Blackpool called John Burridge. And Budgie come down to Villa in 75 from Blackpool and he helped me design a football where he put some stones and ball bearings and peas and rice inside this ball so it made it audible. And with the support of the club, my rehabilitation had started in that I was playing football again. And really, I think that was probably the first step to me actually putting my life back together. My main aim in life since losing my eyesight and you know, rebuilding my life has always been to make a difference in the lives of visually impaired children uh, across the world. Blind Vision was set up in 1999, that's my own business, and that was set up with a view to looking at making a difference in the world, but, and the biggest way that you make a difference in the world is through education, and the more education you give people, then the levels of ignorance drop, the barriers come down, and then it gives you an opportunity then to really move forward and promote ability as opposed to society shutting down because you have a disability. So my next great challenge is to work in India or Pakistan with visually impaired children over there to try and create a better educational platform for them to give them the opportunities and the benefits that we have here at home. I think we all have periods in our life of being in the doldrums, we all have periods in our life as to why me, we all have aspects of our life in that, you know, life's unfair, life's cruel and you know these are things that we hear day in day out, you know, from young children in school to parents to teachers to managing directors of large companies and I think we all have gifts in life, we all have skills in life, we've also, we've all got abilities and I think if you actually marry all these positive strengths that you have as an individual into a nice, direct, passionate pass package, you'd be surprised as to what you can achieve in your life. The toughest one of the three projects I've worked on in actually um, fulfillment has to be the flight project. You know, for a blind man to fly an aeroplane, it's completely off the radar, it's completely contradictory, it's something that shouldn't happen in life. But for me to complete the hat-trick challenge, having completed the World Blind Land Speed Challenge in 1999 and the World Offshore Powerboat Challenge in 2000 and 2001, to complete the hat-trick challenge I had to then take to the air in 2004. So to get the CAA, the Civil Aviation Authority, to actually sanction that was a big thing in its own right. We then got some speaking software flown in from America called a voice activated interface, which then converted all the information off the control panel into speech, so I could fly the aeroplane. And then to have over 65 hours of flight training, you know, it was a, it was a very, very big challenge. It was a big ask, but I always believed that I could do it. 